to a Mac Apps video for you. Today, I've got another tutorial for you, very quick and very basic. If you know how to do this, do not comment that it's so noob. Uh, I should know how to do this. People already know how to do this because there are people who do not know how to do this. So, I am going to show them exactly how to do this. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up a playlist within iTunes. Okay, so first things first, it may seem a given, but you make sure you have iTunes open. Uh, so go down here in your dock and click on iTunes, open up the iTunes application. Now, let's create a playlist. What is the first thing we want to do? Well, first thing you want to do is you want to create a playlist. So let's go ahead and go down here to the bottom left, which is right here, the bottom left of your iTunes. It is the create a playlist. It is an addition symbol. So I'm going to select that. I'm going to click create a playlist. Once I do that, it's going to go ahead and pop up here and it's going to say untitled playlist 2. I'm going to label this test, test, goodness gracious, I cannot spell, test playlist 1. Okay? And then you can hit enter or click off or however you want to do it. Now, once we have our test playlist 1 named and we already have it down here, Go ahead and go to your music, where your music is stored, which is the top one up here under your library. So I'm going to click on music, and that's going to bring up our entire library of music. Now, let's go ahead and pick some songs for our playlist. Now go and find your playlist where it's at. Okay, there it is, Test Playlist 1. Now, I'm going to pick a few songs. Let's say I want Month of May from Arcade Fire. I'm going to go down here, and I'm going to click, and I'm going to drag. Now, once you click and hold the green addition symbol will come up. You drag it and you can put it in any one of your playlists, but for this, the purposes of this video, I'm going to drop it in the test playlist one, which is the one that I've created. Now, I'm going to go ahead and add a couple more songs. Let's go ahead and do the perfect space from the Abbott Brothers, test playlist one. Uh, let's see here, um, to love somebody, the Bee Gees, uh, test playlist one. Now, once I do that, I can go back to my test playlist one, and there they are. There's those three songs that I have added. Now, I'm going to go back and show you a little trick, which is really neat. Now, let's say I want to add this whole Casting Crowns album unto the whole world, which is the name of the album. Instead of clicking and dragging a single song over, I can actually click the top one, go all the way down to the bottom song in this album, and shift, click, Look at that, it selects all of these in between. Now, let's say I want to collect, click another one, but it's not in a row. All you have to do is hit Command and click. And you can do the same thing if you want to remove a song. You can Command, click, and that will remove one. Now, this just saves some time, and it's a nice trick if you don't know how to do it. So I'm going to add all of these songs. You then click on the ones that are highlighted. It's got a 12 by it. That'll tell you it's got 12 songs. And I'm going to go down here, and I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to put it in my playlist once I get down to it. There we go. Test Playlist 1. I'm going to let go of my mouse, and they're in there. Click on Test Playlist 1, and there is our playlist. Now, what is so neat about playlists is many things, but the thing that I like most is that if you have a specific thing that you're going to, if you're going to a party and there's a certain theme of the party, if it's a Halloween party, you can put all of your Halloween music or all of your Christmas music and you can actually go down here and you can do turn shuffle on or off and play the playlist once or repeat the playlist. You can actually shuffle these songs in here and they'll repeat and it'll just play the songs within this playlist. So that in itself is amazing and for me that's the best feature of having a playlist. Now once you sync this with your iPhone, iPod Touch, your iPad, whatever it may be, this playlist will be under your music in your iPod. So let's say you're in a mood to work out. Well you put all your workout music within a playlist, you then have your playlist just for when you work out. And that to me is a great feature of having a playlist. So. This has been a tutorial on how to create and manage a playlist within iTunes. If you got any questions, comment down below. Again, if you already know how to do this, don't comment below and say that you already do and this is stupid because there are people who may not know how to do this. And if you are one of those people, I hope this video 
helped you. And again, if you have any questions, let me know. And come back if you want some Mac app reviews. I got reviews for iPhone, iPod, iPad, and games, as well as the Mac applications. And uh, I'll be putting that stuff out on a very normal basis. Again, guys, another Mac apps video for you. Have a wonderful and great day.